All right. It seems like we're logging in. Praise God. And we are here. And we are here. So we're just waiting on those to log in. Uh, we had the trans we had the transition. Transition, move some stuff around <laughs> to make sure we were on the line and make sure uh, our followers uh, that has questions and everything that they can come on and follow us on Facebook Live. So if you know anybody, uh, they can uh, also they can call in on our line uh, that we have right now. If you have somebody you want to share it with and invite them to come on the line, they can tonight, and we'll be glad to have them on the line tonight. So we just thank God for what God is is, is doing. I'm excited about what Unify Love is doing in this, you know, in this critical time. Uh, we're facing an epidemic. We're still going through, and it's good. It's a good time where we could talk about marriage and we can mm -hmm. talk about relationship because these are tough times right now for a lot of people. Yes. And a lot of I was looking at some things on Facebook where people marriages are suffering, and they said they're getting more domestic violence mm -hmm. calls yes. than they've ever gotten before. So we got to make sure that, you know, uh, we're not going to be a part of that number. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're not going to be going through that, but we can face our, our, our situations together. Yes. Uh, as husband and wife, mm -hmm. we can face those things and we can go through them and make it healthier for our, our lives and our relationship. Mm -hmm. And even though as death is all around us, don't mean we're ha we have to die. And because of things that are happening all around us, don't mean it has to happen to us. As long as we just, you know, do what thus saith the Lord and we follow the directions and know what we're supposed to do. But trust in the Lord at this time. Trust in God at this mm -hmm. time. Yes. So we're going to go right into our topic on tonight. Um, spiritual and physical stamina. Mm -hmm. And we know that in marriage, um, let me just define stamina. It says the ability to sustain prolonged physical or mental effort um, is also a great physical or mental strength that allows you to continue to doing something for a long time. Mm -hmm. So we know that when it comes to having stamina, it's a, le a lengthy period and uh, maybe a period of long suffering, but because um, you have the endurance because mm -hmm. you have the will um, that you're able to stand. Um, so when we're we have stamina, it's an exertion. We're exerted. Mm -hmm. um, we may become tired, although we have stamina. So I may be tired, but I still have that will to fight. Right. I may be tired, but I still want to um, hang in there because I know that this is what God promised me. Mm -hmm. So in that promise and knowing that God has um, given me something, I have to be able to stand. And then we look at Abraham and Sarah, mm -hmm. how they were in relationship, mm -hmm. how they were married and how they did not have a child of their own. And yes, they used others to carry for them surrogate mothers. They did not have their own child. And God promised Abraham at the age of 75 that he would give him his own seed. It was a son of promise, wow. which would be Isaac. Mm -hmm. So now it took 25 years wow. for God to fulfill that promise that he gave to Abraham. Mm -hmm. And at the time that they had the child, he was a hundred years old. So, you know, that should encourage us that although we're waiting, although we're standing, although we're enduring, um, if we keep the stamina, if we keep holding on to the promise that God has given us, that right. we can endure any battle, we can endure any storm, we can um, endure any hardship, that comes up against us because mm -hmm. we have stamina. We have the ability to sustain prolonged physical or mental effort. So, you know, I know it's a heart thing and a mind thing. Mm -hmm. um, and so, I have to have that strength. So if we 
I, I like this topic tonight. I like what we're talking about. And you said stamina. Mm -hmm. You know, through everything that we are facing, through everything that we are that we going through mm -hmm. in life, that's a part of stamina. Yes. Uh, when the bills are due. Mm -hmm. when, Someone in the family loses a job yes. and it puts a strain on the, on the relationship. It mm -hmm. puts a strain on the marriage. It yes. puts a strain on your finance. Mm -hmm. And we know that financial, uh, hardship, financial hardship, because when you lose your job and you losing stuff and, mm -hmm. uh, they start repossessing the car yeah. and you get all these, uh, notices. Those things, are you willing to battle through all of those things when you start arguing, when you start fussing, mm -hmm. when you start going through whose fault it is? Right. Because now we've lost something. Mm -hmm. We've lost an income. We've lost uh, things that we're so used to having. Mm -hmm. We're even lost with each other. Right. <laughs> because we are struggling. And going through things, mm -hmm. and some, and, and during that time, it could be the meanest time between a husband and wife because you're angry about the situation, but mm -hmm. then you take it out on the one that right there with you, that's right. that's fighting with you, that's mm -hmm. struggling with you. Mm -hmm. That's no time to fight. Yeah, that's no time to right. yell and scream. Mm -hmm. That's no time to blame somebody. Mm -hmm. That's the time to say, okay, I know we. That doesn't happen. I, I'm gonna have to pick up till you can get back on your feet. Yeah, you know I'm gonna have to do some things. And why you're looking for a new job, and mm -hmm. why you looking um, for a better income, and mm -hmm. maybe your job cut your hours, yeah. or cut your salary, and told you, hey, we want to keep you, but we can't pay you what we was paying you before. Right. So you know these things are things we gotta really buckle down with one another and we, as husband and wife and when you are going through these things you got to learn how to fight together yes. as husband and wife and mm -hmm. a lot of times we don't fight together mm -hmm. because we're so busy blaming each other right for whoever is wrong or for whoever is going through mm -hmm. so a lot of times is, is this is this is good tonight because in order to, you have to go through your first battle. Yes. You have to go through your first battle in order to make it through any other battles. So how do you that's do that? That's that endurance. That's that yeah. stamina. Right. Because if you never went through a battle, how do you know you're going to endure it and when something else comes? Right. Because if you haven't went through your first one, and, and let's say your first one ended up horrible because something happened mm -hmm. and now y'all at each other's throat what about when the next time something happens right then you're going to be at each other's throat or are you going to trust god mm -hmm. or you're going to get together and say honey a uh, 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 wife let's get together let's pray right let's let's work it out and, and and i always stress this about the men during your time of trouble is not time to you to bottle up and not say nothing mm -hmm. you know that's your time honey this is what happened on the job. They said they're finna lay us off. Right. This is gonna happen. What you know, what you think we should do? Mm -hmm. And your my, mindset as a husband should be, let's pray about it. Yes. Let's go before the Lord. Let's make sure and, and if God move you from there, then God will find help you to find something else better and greater. Yes. So we gotta have that positive attitude mm -hmm. with one another that I'm not blaming my wife. My wife is not blaming me because I'm the you know, you know, and that's one thing men uh, hurt on because they're supposed to be the provider. Mm -hmm. I hear in the world, people, you're the man. <laughs> you know, they always say, you're the man. Women, you know, you ever seen those movies and they, you're the man. Uh -huh. You're supposed to take care of everything. And you're <laughs> supposed to make sure our household is good. Well, the man can't do it all by himself. That's right. That's right. And, um, it's good that you mentioned about praying together mm -hmm. because in our uh, book, and we're going to uh, promote and shout out the love cure for oh, relationships. relationships and marriage. And marriage. Uh, we begin to talk about praying together and how important it is to pray. Mm -hmm. And I just want to read a, a excerpt from this, this on page 14 for those that already have the book. It says that when two of you get together on anything at all on earth, and make a prayer of it, my father in heaven goes into action. That's Matthew 18 and 19. Mm -hmm. 
So it's important that uh, we consult God together, that we pray together. Yes. And then it says on page 15 that although you may not be married yet, so um, even before marriage, there should be a type of relationship where um, we're coming into agreement in mm -hmm. the spirit of prayer. Mm -hmm. um, the scripture says to watch and pray lest you fall into temptation. Yes. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is mm -hmm. weak. And at times in relationships, you may have to rebuke your own flesh. Wow. So in rebuking our flesh, uh, we know that things are hard, things are tough, and we're in positions now, uncomfortable positions, because if I'm not married yet, that means that I shouldn't be fornicating. I should not be having sex before mm -hmm. marriage. Mm -hmm. So it's important that in the relationship that I'm dating or courting in, that prayer is always there because yes. our flesh rises up. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are human. We are uh, uh, fleshly, emotional beings. Mm -hmm. And um, we want our flesh satisfied as well. Yeah. So we need to know that uh, we should be able to pray joining together in the spirit of unity and pray even while we're not um, married yet. Mm -hmm. um, it says here also, it will also help you identify if the person can pray mm -hmm. and knows how to pray, especially they're since they're gonna be responsible for covering you. Wow. So in uh, the dating period and the courting period, I want to test your skills. Mm -hmm. Why should not be able to test to see if you're praying fervently, if you can even get a prayer through to God, wow. or how do you pray? Do you know how to pray? And you know, we tend to focus more on the natural person. Oh, they look nice, mm -hmm. they're handsome, oh, she's cute, mm -hmm. she has a nice figure. Yeah, physically, all of that looks good and sounds mm -hmm. good, but what about spiritually? spiritually? And in order to have spiritual stamina, and I wanna, um read this definition for spiritual stamina. It says the ability to war and fight spiritually for a long time. Mm -hmm. So I have to gauge in the beginning, even while I am dating, would this person be able to war with me mm -hmm. and for me? Will they be able to cover me and our children? When we have children, will they be able to cover me? So when, and, and if I'm engaged, I, we should be already operating in prayer, yes. already casting out, tearing down and destroying hold, strongholds, mm -hmm. especially baggage to make sure baggage, we don't carry anything into, into the marriage. marriage. Right. And, and you know, <clears throat> you, you made a vital point. Mm -hmm tonight because prayer is so important yes uh like it's like going to sleep and waking up in the morning mm -hmm. that you know a husband and wife should have that prayer life yes uh individually and together yes you know where mm -hmm. you're praying for one another mm -hmm. individually that you're praying for your marriage you're praying together you yes. know for your marriage you're yes. praying and you know uh for your you know for your household mm -hmm. um our son was almost in an accident the other day and he and he and he said to me he said man dad thank thank god you know y'all i know y'all always praying mm -hmm. and, and he knows that yes you know so he knows that we, we pray in this house we mm -hmm. cover our children mm -hmm. we cover our grandchildren yes we cover our household yes and the devil just can't walk in here and do whatever he wanted to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so he knows that he can't even come on our block <laughs> he don't even come on our block because yes. he knows that he's not welcome nowhere around our neighborhood mm -hmm. because of the prayers of the righteous avail as much, yes, you know, and, yes. and, and I, and I truly believe that because we pray in, mm -hmm. the, in our home, mm -hmm. because we pray, me and my wife, you know, together, we've prayed, you know, on prayer line, we mm -hmm. prayed, uh, I mean, th those We're things actively, actively in prayer because prayer will change and shake up and help manifest things like you've never seen it before. Yes. Through prayer, me and my wife will see miracles mm -hmm. happen in our lives. Mm -hmm. Then something will happen and, and I, I never forget one time my wife had to go to court because mm -hmm. of a bill. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, we was praying over that thing. And the next thing you know, they said something that so you don't have to worry about it no more. No more. They took it off. First of all, in court, I signed papers mm -hmm. that I was gonna pay one thing. And when my first bill came, 
it was half of what I said I would pay. Mm -hmm. And then after a year later, the whole bill got exonerated. So mm -hmm. it was white clean, mm -hmm. but we have to pray, uh, pray yes. and be willing to endure and have that stamina, spiritual stamina that says that, hey, I know that um, this is going to be a hard fight. This is going to be a long fight, but guess what? I'm ready and I'm willing to fight. Physical stamina, because the, regardless of how I may feel in my body or how tired I may feel, I know that I have to stand and fight. So I can't have, I, have, I need both. I need spiritual and physical stamina, you know, um, be willing and able to stand. And even with our physical bodies, we know a lot of us are not in shape. Mm -hmm. And I can say this, a lot of yep. us are not in shape we and we it. get tired. And um, even my husband and I, we just started back our exercise uh, routine last week because we're like, wait, we're in quarantine. We're sitting around. I'm still working from home. He's still working um, community based and we're eating more than uh, what we normally would mm -hmm. eat. Cause because we're always working. We are right. We're stuff. always busy. She's at work. Mm -hmm. I'm out doing community stuff yes. and have meetings and stuff like that. And, you know, and now, I, you know, I'm home mm -hmm. and, you know, we're at quarantine. Yes. And then, you know, my wife, after had been her meetings and she's eating, I'm in my meeting, I'm eating. Right. <laughs> so, you know, you, you get to a point where now you're not doing the, some of the things you used to do mm -hmm. to keep yourself active. So, right. you know, during this time, this ain't time to be fighting and bickering. Mm -hmm. This is the time to push each other. Hey, come on. Let's do this differently. Yes. Let's, let's go work out. Or we got around yeah. the block together. We're in our gym or, right now. Yes. <laughs> so, you <laughs> know, we're in our little gym right now. And mm -hmm. We got treadmills. We got it all. Yes. So, bench machines, yeah. kickboxing, everything. I mean, we got everything. And walk by right it every day. Yes. Like, we don't even see it. But now, because we need physical stamina, mm -hmm. we have to have our bodies. We are responsible for our temples. Yes. And me speaking this out, I need this. I need to hear this. We yes. are responsible for our temples. temples. So we're also responsible for what we put in our temples. And a lot of times we want God to heal us because a lot of sickness comes from obesity. Mm -hmm. uh, a majority of the sickness becomes because of what we eat. And then we get sick and we're praying God heal us, heal us, heal mm -hmm. us. But why should he heal us if we're going to continue to pollute our bodies? We got to think about that. I'm praying mm -hmm. heal, heal, heal. It's just like men in Egypt. And I go back. He heals me and then I continue yeah, to eat God. that way. No, we've got to condition our bodies just as we've got all this power to cast out demons and devils. We have also have to have all this power to resist what we know is not right for our bodies, and we, spiritually and, and naturally. Yeah, and mentally. And mentally, yes. Because a lot of times you're eating because you're, eating you're under pressure, mm -hmm. you're in the house all day. Now here it is, they're telling you you can't go outside mm -hmm. or limit your time outside. Don't do a lot of things you were doing before. Mm -hmm. And it's, 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 it's a hurtful thing because, you know, me and my wife, we're very active mm -hmm. in doing things and we always have something going on that we're doing. Yes. And now that we're home and, you know, and uh, we're not out there where we can maneuver and move around and do some of the things we were doing before, it makes it kind of difficult. So all you doing, and I, like I told my wife the night, you know, last night the kids wanted pizza <laughs> and I was like, I'm tired of that. I, I want to do this. No, you know, I want to, I want to do something different. Yes. A lifestyle, change. a lifestyle change to yeah. get myself healthy, to mm -hmm. get her healthy. Mm -hmm. So we can, we can make a difference in our community. And um, I just thank God because, you know, through it all, different ones, you know, are reaching out to me. Hey, Pastor, I want you, when this is over, this this work we got to do. I, I'm so backed up right now that when all this is over, it's a lot of stuff I got to start doing mm -hmm. to um, to help make our community better. And these are the times, you know, leaders and pastors that are on right now, this are the time that we got to start preparing ourselves and our husband and our wives, we mm -hmm. got to start preparing ourselves 
because when the overflow come, when people start coming to church, because now you, you can see people are reaching out to God mm -hmm. like never before. There's some that's still not, but we have those that are mm -hmm. he hearing the call of God. Yes. They are heeding the call that God is, is calling us back to him. Mm -hmm. And now is the time that we got to prepare ourselves You're right. to get ready, you know, mm -hmm. and we can't prepare ourselves if we're unhealthy. Yes. Amen. We're going to take a break, a pause break, um, just to say those that are watching online, please, if you have any questions, share, please. Uh, put your questions in and we'll make sure that we answer your questions, comments. Um, please share your comments. We see those that have joined. Thank you so much uh, for your support. We ask that you would please share this video, um, especially for those that you know that this will encourage and enrich. So um, please share those that on the conference call, you know how we roll, jump in because we can't go. We can't talk. So uh, please, if you have any questions, don't wait for us to ask. Just feel free to jump in and we will answer your questions. Anybody on the line have any questions so far? All right, so uh, let me pose a question. Um, the question is, what if our spouse doesn't want to pray? Mm -hmm. What if they don't want to pray? So we're saying that in order to um, have spiritual stamina, it's important our prayer life is with the one that we are with. Mm -hmm. What if the one that we don't we are with don't want to pray? Well, you know, I I, I can say this that <clears throat> a lot of times mm -hmm. um, it, it seems like it's always the man that does not want to pray. But uh, I just thank God that I'm different like that because <laughs> I'm always willing to pray mm -hmm. or willing to. You know, even at night when my wife is sleeping yes. and I can't sleep, mm -hmm. I, I have to pray. And sometimes I pray myself to sleep. <laughs> That's the only way I can lay my head down mm -hmm. and go to sleep sometimes. Mm -hmm. But what, you know, most of the time is the man don't want to do it because he got so much on his mind. He got something else. Mm -hmm. But these are time, men, that we have to step up. And we have to pray mm -hmm. and we are the covering of our household. That means that you are the husband mm -hmm. and you are the covering mm -hmm. of your wife and your, your children. Mm -hmm. And even if you got grandchildren staying with you, you're still the covering. Yes. They're living with you. They're mm -hmm. living in your home. Mm -hmm. And um, th these are times, men, that we got to we, we got to be those men of God that God has called us to be mm -hmm. so we can stand in the gap and, you know, for our marriage, you know, and for, you know, and for our, our, our home. Yes. And uh, I know my wife got something to say about that for the women's <laughs> part of view, but I'm just saying it from a man point of mm -hmm. view. A lot of times, I know we got a lot of things on our mind. I know we're going, we're trying to figure out how we're going to pay this, mm -hmm. how we're going to do that, how we're going to do this everything and I, I told my wife one time you don't know it's a lot of stressful uh thing because in relationships a lot of time the men end up getting more stressed out mm -hmm. than the women because the man is all that's all he thinks about i gotta mm -hmm. do better i gotta get my bills right i gotta this and he's not thinking a lot sometimes we lose focus and not think about god first well we that's what we got to do go to god first mm -hmm. we have to go to our father for when i'm having issues I know that man can't help me and ain't nothing else a man can do. My mm -hmm. wife can't help me mm -hmm. in a situation. Well, then I got to go to God about yes. that situation yes. and pray about it. And sometimes I tell my wife what's going on. She said, well, let's pray about mm -hmm. it. And, and th these are times that we have to do these things. Prayer right now is so critical. Yes. We have 3.3 .3 million people out of jobs right now. Mm -hmm. Just, just in like the whole, you know, I think in the whole United States, 3.3 million. million people that's yes. out of work mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. And they said out of those 3.3 million people, they said there's going to be depression. Mm -hmm. There's going to be suicide. Uh, suicide. Mm -hmm. There's going to be um, uh, marital issues yes. and marital problems, mm -hmm. you know, where it's going to break up families. Mm -hmm. So these are things that the devil trying to produce mm -hmm. because he wants to see it destroyed. Yes. 
and he wants to so show God. See, he, a lot of people ain't saved. They, you know, they mm -hmm. they don't know how to hold it together yeah. in the time of mm -hmm. a, a critical situation. You know, this is the time we got to hold it together. This yes. is the time as a man, not for you to run away and hide, mm -hmm. not for you to say, I don't want to pray right now. Mm -hmm. This is the time we got to stand up, men, and do our part and be our, be that husband that God has called you to be. Yes. You can't be like anybody else. You be how God has shown you to be. And that's, and I know God ain't show you not to be a man of prayer. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible says a man should always Pray. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. We should always pray. Should always talk to God. Sometimes your prayer don't have to be a prayer. Mm -hmm. It could be just you talking to God. Yes. Telling him your troubles. Mm -hmm. Telling him what you're going through. Mm -hmm. You know? And if anybody can help you figure it out, I know God can. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, and I see the uh, comment. God bless you, Pastor Kimbrough. Uh, she said, pray for them because sometimes you have to stand in the gap until they are where they need to be. Amen. And I mean, so on point, on key, I have to continue to reference um, to our book. We have it available online on Amazon and the exact same thing is in our book. Oh, yeah. uh, if your spouse does not want to pray, walk through your home and pray anyway. anyway. Uh, pray and let him hear you pray for him. Let him hear you covering him. Let him hear you lovingly. Don't be mad now. I know sometimes we mad, we get in our feelings and stuff because maybe we even reached out uh, for their hand for praying. And, oh, I don't wanna pray right now. And they could be like that. That's fine. Let him lovingly hear you pray. Let him hear you war. Let him hear you travail for your marriage. Even if you have to walk through your home, walk praying, let him know that you're not going to give up. Let him know that you're going to fight the good fight of faith. And guess what? You have stamina. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. You have stamina. You have the will to fight. You have the will to travail. You have the will. Even when you're kneeling down praying, Pray loud enough. It could be a loud whisper just so he can hear you covering him, praying for him, praying for his salvation, yes. praying for your home, praying for your family, because you know that God can and he will do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or think. And remember, there is warfare attached to marriages. Mm -hmm. And at times you may not even feel like or have the energy to fight. You might feel like, look, this is it. I am done. This is over. I, I'm just so tired. But that's when that spiritual stamina come in and say, we can do all things Thanks. through Christ mm -hmm. that strengthens us. So don't give, if you know that this is what God has for you, if you know that God has joined and remember enemy and warfare is attached to marriages. Amen. It's attached to relationships. We've said it so many times because the enemy know what force you are to be reckoned with yes, if you would ever come together unified mm. as one the strongholds you can tear down yes. the jokes of bondage that you can destroy that's why the enemy is always on attack i want to say that i remember one time somebody told me and my wife they said man when y'all two get together and pray and they've seen us pray mm -hmm. even in church and they said when well, you two guys get together and pray mm -hmm. it's like the enemy go running because he knows that <laughs> that the, the that our prayers mm -hmm. are so strong mm -hmm. that because when we do it i tell my wife sometimes when we pray together and we do you know and in prayer together mm -hmm. i feel like we Shaq and kobe <laughs> you know, we, we we just got that connection together <laughs> when we pray, when we cast Amen. our demons yes. together, when we lay hands on something, they recover from two are from, better than one. Yeah, and, but you know what I'm saying? Yes. And you know, um, a lot of times it it, it, it pushes you mm -hmm. into that next level yes. where God, you know, needs you to go. And mm -hmm. sometimes you need that push. Sometimes you need your your, your wife there, your husband there to to give you that push. Yes. And, and if he's not a prayer, you pray for him. If she's not a praying woman, you pray for her, you know? And and, and if, if she's not walking around the house praying for mm -hmm. you, then you have to walk around your house praying, That's it. you know? And, and somebody has to break the yokes of bondage. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to let the devil know he don't have no control. Somebody yes. got to pray in that home and push him out the door. Mm -hmm. 
because as long as nobody is praying, he's going to stay right there. Yes. And he's going to keep causing havoc. He's going to keep causing problems mm -hmm. between you, God, because yes. he wants to make sure that this marriage does not last. So don't be discouraged. If things are not working out for you, mm -hmm. uh, we begin to talk about earlier in this broadcast about Sarah and Abraham, how they wanted their own child. They did things to reap from um, procreate a child. Mm -hmm. They use their handmaidens to be surrogate mothers for them. But at the age of 75, God promised Abraham, you're going to have a son from your bowels, from you. You're going to have, this is your promised child that you're going to have. And then 25 years later is when God fulfilled the promise at the age of 100 years old. Wow. So if we have stamina, we can stand regardless of how long it takes, regardless of what we're going through, regardless if we're in the waiting period. Um, these are for the ones that are single. Maybe you have not. God has. You're not in a relationship. You don't even know if your husband is on the way. Your husband is coming. Now is the more perfect time to be in the presence of God mm -hmm. and at the feet of God. You have time now to be at the presence yes. of God and, and at the feet of God. You don't have a job and, to go to mm, right now. You or you may do, or you don't have a husband right. that you have to please. And I say that because the scripture talk about that the woman, the um, he can use us more when we're single mm -hmm. because we're willing to lay out. You know, women, we'll go, we'll um, stretch out, we'll endure, we'll travail, we'll lay it at the feet of God. He said, but when we're married, we do what all we can to please our husband of uh, those that who we are with. So enjoy and embrace singleness, you know, enjoy. I remember a time I was single and by five years into being saved, I'm like, I want a husband. And, you know, I was so, and then I received a proper lie. I'm going to say proper lie that I was going to be married within I that year. Know, and ever since that person, release that word, that erroneous word over my life, my focus shifted because now I'm looking, is that him? Is that him? Is that? No, stay focused on what God tells you and what God placed in your spirit. Don't accept counterfeits. Don't accept those that only go to church because you go into church. Don't accept those that don't know how to pray. And you might say, oh, you got your standards a little high. Look, they're going to be high because I want someone that can war and fight on my behalf. I want I somebody that they can dress well because mm -hmm. they look fine. Mm -hmm. I want somebody that can fight in the gaps with me and not run away mm -hmm. when things get hard. Yes, and you know, be there. And be there, <laughs> even in the good and the bad yes, and the ugly. Yes. Because a lot of times, the ones that look so fine will leave you. <laughs> <laughs> or the ones that, that look as all spiffy and mm -hmm. he just will, will leave you right there. Mm -hmm. By yourself, because yes. he, he's not a fighter. Mm -hmm. She's not a fighter. Mm -hmm. She don't have the stamina. Yes. They don't have the stamina to yes. fight in the battle with you. Mm -hmm. When you got a man or a woman of God that can fight in the battle with you. And have that stamina. And have that stamina. And, and you not feel afraid. like you about to give out. And they're like, uh-uh, come on. Come we on, going we together. Push. That can pull you. Mm -hmm. I'm about to get up and shout. They can tell you, yes. come on, honey, let me grab your hand. Yes. We're not going to give up yet. No, mm -hmm. it ain't over till it's yes. over. They're going to kick us out of our house. And, mm -hmm. and, and they saying that they need this money by the end of the in the, in the uh, month. Yes. So we just man, this that time y'all gotta grab hands. Mm -hmm. Ain't no time to blame nobody. That's Ain't no it. time to say, That's oh, it. it's your fault, mm -hmm. my fault, everybody's fault. It's all our fault. Yes. Now we gotta go to God and war and war and yes. fight for our home. Yes. Lord, we, you know what we going through, mm -hmm. God. You know our situation. Yes. You know what we what we're faced with, God. We Thank need you. you right now yes. in our midst of our trouble mm -hmm. in the midst of our storm in the midst of what we're going through yes. and i was listening to this song last night and it said do the storm do do everything that we're facing you still got the victory mm -hmm. we still have the victory yes. that means that god hasn't given up on us mm -hmm. and we can't give up on him that's right and that's when we got to come together when man cannot do it yes for you. when everybody gonna turn their back saying nothing we can do mm -hmm. can't help you Mm -hmm. Can't fight with you. 
Come on. You know, I done gave you enough. Yes. I done tried to help you. Mm -hmm. And you got those who will turn their back in after you done helped them so many times. Mm -hmm. And they turn their back on you. And now you can't find, now it's just you <laughs> and your husband sitting right there. And, and God has said, I allowed it to happen because I needed you to come back to me. Yes. Let me show you who really is supporting mm -hmm. you. Let yes. me show you who's really pushing you. Yes. Let me show you who's really looking out for mm -hmm. you. Man couldn't do it for you. Mm. But I can do all things. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, because he is God. He is God. And beside him, there is There's no, no other. other. So no I want other. somebody that's God-minded that we can walk and we can connect and walk with one accord. Mm -hmm. I want someone that knows God, not just, no, we ain't talking about, oh, I, I know God. No, no God no means God. to serve him, to obey his commandments is to know God. So we need somebody that knows God. Mm -hmm. Glory to God, knows God. I, I'm going to say that when I remember when I was, when, when, I, when um, my bishop had told me, said, that I was gonna get uh get a wife and I was gonna get <laughs> remarried and I was telling and I said I said God I don't want somebody that can't deal with me <laughs> I don't want somebody who can't pray with me I don't want somebody who can't who, who you know who can't care for me like mm -hmm. I care for them mm -hmm. I want somebody that's gonna be in the fight be in the trenches with yes. me. You yes. know, and, and, and that you know that when when I'm weak, then mm -hmm. they strong. Mm -hmm. When she's strong. Mm -hmm. Or when she's weak, I am strong. Yes, yes. You know, but we be strong for one another. Mm -hmm. And see, that's the whole thing. You gotta this is times when 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 you know people when the tough get going, they get going. Mm. They get going. Yes. They're ready to walk out. Mm -hmm. They're ready to leave you. They're ready to put you out. They're ready to do all kind of stuff to you. <laughs> and, and, and now they don't want to have nothing until something go bad with them. Now, oh, baby, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want you back now. Yes. You know, yes. but we as men and women of God, we got to, I'm not settling anymore. That's right. That's right. I'm not going to settle. We you. are not desperate. Right. Because, see, <laughs> that's the thing, too. You get a lot of, Christian men who some of them look desperate. Mm -hmm. and they, women too. Women and women too. But <laughs> you know, I've seen no one. That, you know, Russian trying to talk because mm -hmm. she look good. Mm -hmm. It's not all about the woman that look. It's what kind of substance she have in her. Yes. You yes. know, and yeah, of course, you want somebody that you're compatible and you're attracted to. Mm -hmm. I understand that, but she also got to be somebody too that 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 can war and they can take off. Take off that hair and do that, put that little wrap on, boy, and get in that prayer closet mm -hmm. and grab your hand. Yes. And y'all get down and dirty in prayer. Yes. And letting the enemy know he ain't going to have no control. Amen. And you got somebody that don't mind warring and fighting mm -hmm. and, and, and fighting. In mm -hmm. the midst of y'all trouble, yes. in the midst of what y'all are going through, yes. you need somebody that's going to fight. Spiritually sound. Spiritually sound. Yes. That can, that, that can give you a scripture, that mm -hmm. can put a, a, and throw a scripture in a God. I know, God, mm -hmm. you promised us this, Amen. Lord. Amen. And I like those kind of scriptures where I can say, Lord, you said this in mm -hmm. your word. Yes. I didn't say it. Yes. <laughs> And be knowing that and knowing. this is who God has for you. you yeah. And be patient. Wait, wait, wait mm -hmm. on God. Women, we lose our ever-loving mind if a single man come into church. And I'm going to say that and I'm going to pause for a minute. We go crazy. We go ballistic. We don't know if this man, number one, is saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. All we know is that we're single, we've been praying for the husband, and this may be the one. The man don't even have an opportunity to come in the church and establish or display his relationship with God without all the women flocking at them, running at them, charging at them, throwing themselves at them. Wait a minute, who God has for me, yes, it is girl. for me. And I'm not at the point of desperation that I'm willing to settle for anything. And you might say I'm um, a little goody two shoes or my standards too high or I'm all oh, you just asking for too much. No, no. be willing to not compromise. Right. 
because trust me, and we both have been in situations of compromising in relationship and it did not work. No, it it didn't, it does not work. work. So try the spirit to see whether it is of God. Try them to see what spirit they are operating in. And you may be surprised at the end result that mm -hmm. it may not be the spirit of God. Try them to see if they're only coming to service because you say. Mm -hmm. Try them. Mm -hmm. If they're all oh, we go to church too much, come on. We've got to make sure that we don't settle for anything and be so desperate and willing to accept anything. My, and the thing is so funny, my wife always say, you know, on Sunday, I, I be beating her out the door, giant area, so we can get to church. And I be the one, a lot of times, you know, I be rushing and because I want to make sure, I, you know, I get the service on time. And not because I'm the pastor and all that, but because I love praise and worship. I love to be in service. I love the, you know, the that time to praise God and go before the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, and, 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 and that's something big when you got somebody love God just like you love God. Yes. Yeah, or even more. Or even more. Yes. Someone you know? to know God. Love and and, and God. not because oh my wife love God. Mm -hmm. No, I love God because I love God. Mm -hmm. You yes. know? Yes. And I and I've seen God do signs and wonders and miracles before I got with my wife. Mm -hmm. So of course I'm gonna love him first because God was there before she got here. Yes, yes. I remember telling a single woman, and this was at a point where I was walking in singleness, that we have to, uh, you know, everyone is looking for a Boaz. Everyone mm -hmm. is looking for somebody that's going to give them riches. But I'm looking for a Peter, uh, somebody that can lay hands on me and I recover because we're looking for that godliness that is in them. And if they love God, if they truly care for God, they're going to be so careful about how they treat you mm -hmm. and how they care for you because they know that they're directly accountable to God. That's so right. it's so important to know who you are engaged to, who you are hooking up with, who you are promised to give your entire life to till death do you part. I see you asking about the um, book. The book is... The Love Cure for Relationships and Marriage, um, my husband and I authored, and let me everything we're talking about tonight is covered in this book. Yes. So you can find it on Amazon.com. Um, you can purchase either the physical book or an ebook. You can go to even our website, Unified Love uh, Couples Ministry.org, and purchase the ebook from there. And what a better time to get with your mate mm -hmm. during the time of quarantine. Yes. Where y'all can read this book together. Yes. Y'all can y'all can solve a lot of your issues together. Together. And yes. it'll help you in this stressful time. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to add on to something you said that made so much say you are, you know, if you if, if you're, you know, a lot of times we say we're so spiritual and we're so spiritual minded, mm -hmm. but when we looking for that Boaz and we're looking for that wife, you know, like no, some wife. Like that wife, some men <laughs> say, hey, I'm going to go to church find me a wife. You, you, you as a man, you as a woman mm -hmm. of God, you should be able, in the spirit, that's why they say try the spirit. To see if it's of to God. To see if it's of God. Yes. So, you so busy looking at looks, but mm -hmm. you're not looking at the spirit. Yes. And that man could be right now in church and ain't nowhere safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that woman could be right now in church and ain't nowhere, nowhere safe. Nowhere near. And can't, can't pray you out of a paper bag. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Can't even pray you out of a paper bag. Mm. But y'all so oh, he looks so good. And, Mesmerized. Oh, he can sing. Oh, and oh, yeah, every yeah. time, every Sunday, they ask him to get up and sing that song he like. <laughs> oh, what the pastor like. Oh, he can sing, but you don't know. Oh, she can. Oh, she's on the dance mm -hmm. praise and she can dance. Mm -hmm. And oh, she she got so much great. Mm -hmm. And oh, and she sang. And oh, mm -hmm. she sounds so good. Yes. And oh, she can preach. And, mm -hmm. But you better be sure. That's right. Amen. But you got to be sure. Yes. If that's the one that God has for you. Yes. And you better make real sure mm -hmm. that they save. Because some uh, 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 put on that disguise on mm -hmm. you 
and you thinking they save and they just like Chucky. <laughs> or how uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Or Mr. High. High or worse. Mm-hmm. And yes. now you done got into a relationship with somebody that's beating on you. Mm-hmm. And you I thought he was saying he and you find out he wasn't saved. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you got that woman <laughs> who done lost it. A couple of knuckles up there. <laughs> and got them all. And got them all. <laughs> busting out your car window. And you I thought you was a saved woman. Uh-huh. <laughs> So you better be sure Amen. before you say I do. You Amen. better be sure before you jump into that relationship. Yes, 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 yes. And watch them for a while. Mm-hmm. Talk with them. Okay, we'll go out there, but I'm going to watch you. Mm-hmm. I'm be watching to see, you know, because I want to know more about yes. you. See, and in the beginning, when you get to know them, everything was all nice. Mm-hmm. Everything's so pleasant. Yes, not oh, they got, out of place. Oh, they oh they got a sweet. Oh, they got a sweet. Oh, they <laughs> such a sweet. They bringing you flowers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, don't let them bring you no flowers. Mm-hmm. Oh. And open their clothes. And the door open their clothes. The door for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, walk you out. Mm-hmm. Take you to a nice restaurant. <laughs> you know, order you them lobsters you like, <laughs> and looking so good. Ooh. Ooh, he looking so good, <laughs> smelling so good, and he and, and boy, he know the scriptures. Mm. Ooh, can quote so and he quotes scripture. Hey, God, he quotes <laughs> scriptures. <laughs> I, I think I'm going a little bit over. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm serious. Spiritual and physical stuff. <laughs> I'm serious. So <laughs> you got to be careful mm-hmm. and be sure. You know, I, I and I always tell my wife. I, I always tell her that I was. I, I you know, my process. I was gonna have to find somebody. I saw this girl. I was talking to her on the phone, and she went. She didn't go to my church. And okay, let's go out. Okay. And I went out with her, and she, <laughs> Lord, she started talking to herself, and her eyes rolling back in the back of her head. And I thought, I thought you go to try. come to find out. She told me she bipolar. Mm, Jesus, gotta watch. Oh, look at the time. As well as pray. <laughs> I gotta take you home. <laughs> Turn that car around, pull up at the driveway, have a nice life. <laughs> See ya. It's peeling out. Because you don't know what you're getting into. Amen. You better be sure. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's Just because it. a person say they saved and sanctified mm-hmm. and Holy Ghost filled, mm-hmm. fire baptized, That's you better right. check that. That's right. And look at the statement here. Prophetess Carvel says, you got to inspect the fruit they are bearing. Come on now. Fruit tells what kind of tree it is. Ooh, woo. Amen. Inspect. That is so right, sis. That is mm-hmm. so right. Because a lot of times you end up with somebody. <laughs> and, and, your, and then you don't know, say it, I do. Mm-hmm. And y'all, y'all living together. And you stuck with it yes. now. Yes. And now you sitting up saying, Lord, what have I gotten myself into? Mm-hmm. Cray cray. <laughs> Cause he showed one acting like that when I saw him in church. She showed one acting That's like that when I saw him. That's she it. was all spiritual. Mm-hmm. Oh, she can praise mm-hmm. God. And she knows scriptures and she can pray. Mm. Mm. Yes. But you still don't know what you're getting into. That's right. So don't fall for God. Told me you my husband. God told you you my Lord, wife. I've been Don't there. fall for it. No, I've been there, mm-hmm. y'all. I've been. There. I had somebody told me that one. Mm-hmm. You got to know. I said, well, why God ain't tell me? That's it. I, he didn't tell me that. You got the same relationship. Okay, God told you that. Let me pray and see what God tells tell me. me. And don't be so easily flattered. Come on, we got physical stamina. That means that while I'm in my season of waiting, I'm not compromised. Look, after I, my first failed marriage, I was in a season of waiting for 10 years. 
And I was so hardcore, refused to move, refused to yield, refused to give in because I was determined to not make the same mistake that I made the first time. So if God, you don't tell me yes, I'm not going to move. Mm -hmm. And that's how we have to be. But don't let it be after you failed. Let it be that you hear God and you wait on an answer. I received my answer after I was already married. That's because I didn't wait for an answer. So we've got to, if we ask God a question, wait for him to respond. You give him, give him yes, give him an opportunity. Don't, don't, don't jump on your emotions. Mm -hmm. Don't jump on your eyes. Mm -hmm. Or you don't want the next girl in church to right, grab him up. Right. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you don't want the next guy to grab, you know, to grab her up. Yes. Listen, yes. listen. Yes. If she's for you, she gonna be right there for That's you. That's right. And I can prove that because me and my wife, twenty four years, mm -hmm. God had her hidden, Amen. waiting for me. Amen. And I was hidden. God was hiding me, mm -hmm. waiting for her. No way. He was with Cray Cray. <laughs> well, it was that. that was, <laughs> That was that was a bad situation. I had to I had to screw it off my car with y'all. So that wasn't my fault. So but, but wait. I had to get out of there. Mm, and gracefully wait. And gracefully wait. Not complain. Remember we <laughs> So if you get a, a bipolar crazy one, you know to leave, y'all. Y'all see my wait. Where you can you look at the time? Don't go if you see him sacking cuckoo and <laughs> hair stop pushing around, turn another way. Woo, well, can you look at the time? Amen. Amen. Hey, I ain't got time to sit there. The, the truth will make, make you, you free. free. Yeah, Talking amen. about I want that free dinner. Okay, mm -hmm. you keep waiting on that free dinner. Mm -hmm. Then you know you be getting them phone calls in the middle of the night. I took you out to dinner. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. This has been great. Uh, we've enjoyed ourselves on tonight. Actually, we're going to do a part two on um, this physical and spiritual stamina next week. Um, we're going to do a part two. Um, it is so much that we have to endure, especially because of the battle and the warfare that is against our relationships or marriage. And we've got to be spiritually minded to and mind the things of God so our flesh does not sabotage what it is that God has for us. And, you know, we want it, want it, want it, want it, want it right now, mm -hmm. but we don't have that um, stamina to wait, Patience. patiently endure and wait. So we've got to build up our endurance, build up our stamina, know that God is with us and that God has the best for us. Mm -hmm. He ain't giving us somebody that's going to be abusive. He's not giving us somebody that's going to curse us out or no, want the worst for us or sabotage can't when we're pray. trying to live holy. Um, can't pray, can't live right. God has the best for us. We just have to be willing to physically have that stamina, have that endurance, have that fight, not only spiritually, but also no, mentally yeah. be willing, amen, to wait patiently on God. Wait, I say, on the Lord, and he will strengthen you your heart. Yes. Praise God. Wait, wait. It may hurt while you're waiting. It may be um, your heart broken while you're waiting, but still wait, wait and know that God has the best for you. Wait knowing that he's not going to leave or forsake you. Wait knowing that God, if he promised you, he is the same God that's going to fulfill his promise. And the thing I love about that waiting part, because mm -hmm. we got some time, we start a little late. But <laughs> the thing I like about the waiting part was that as I wait, God was molding me. Mm -hmm. God was shaping me mm -hmm. so I can be prepared and prepare myself to be married again. Mm -hmm. And when it was time and I said I wanted to be married, and I went to my bishop and I told, him, look, I think I want to start, you know, I want to find a wife, mm -hmm. you know. And he, and he said, oh, that's a good thing, you know. And he told me to go home and write down how you want this woman to look. <laughs> and I remember <laughs> I remember asking my mom some questions. I said to my mom, how you think? She said, well, you need to find a, get you a red woman. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I really, yeah, that's why I, I put me a red woman now. I want somebody <laughs> red. Yeah. And then I, I said, I want somebody that can deal with me because I'm, I'm, I'm a handful sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I put that in. I want somebody that can deal with the relationship of being with me because my mind, I'm a strong mind and I'm, uh, I'm a go getter. I like to do stuff. Mm -hmm. So I need somebody like that with me. I need somebody that can calm me down. Mm -hmm. And I was putting all these different things in and not knowing, you know, during that time that, you know, I was prescribing my wife mm -hmm. because of the relationship we had in the in the high school years that we didn't have all that stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Even when we were dating in high school, mm -hmm. we didn't have all that stuff no going drama. on. No drama. We went to the movies, mm -hmm. we hung out, mm -hmm. we just had a good time together. And then, you know, she went home and this and that. But it just show you sometime that you have to be patient enough. And during that time of waiting patiently, I, you know, I began to do other things, you know, just do ministry at mm -hmm. my church, to get involved in the, in the ministry. Because I knew sooner or later that whatever God had for me, it would come. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to rush it. I didn't have to go looking for it. Mm -hmm. And many tried to convince me that they were the one for me. But mm -hmm. no, that I have to wait to see who God says is for Amen. me. Amen. And who he has for me, I know it will last. Mm -hmm. I know it will have substance. Mm -hmm. I know it was we, we whoever he had for me, we were going to be together. Yes. Till the day we die. Amen. So I just thank God that, you know, when God released and showed me who was my wife, I, I, I had no doubt in my mind. I had no doubt to look nowhere. I wasn't looking for nothing else. Didn't want nothing else. I knew who I wanted. I knew who I wanted to be with. I know who I wanted to spend my life with. I knew who was my soulmate. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have to worry about, well, am I looking at somebody else? And is it somebody else I won't know? I already knew what I wanted, mm -hmm. and I already knew who I wanted to be with. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have I, I didn't have to worry about um, who I'm looking for now. Mm -hmm. But I knew what I already wanted. And mm -hmm. time when you know what you want, you're gonna go after what you want, and you're gonna you're gonna be with the woman that you want, yes. and, and, and that woman gonna be who you need her to be. Amen. You know, because of God it, mm -hmm. yeah, that woman gonna be. The, the woman that you want and that man is going to be the man that, that God has for you that you want. Amen. And he's going to be there to be your husband and be, and you're going to be there to be his wife. And you you, you are going to learn how to work together yes. in the, in the critical time. Cause even critical time can use that against you. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. And we know that during these times we're allowed able to come in and use us mm -hmm. uh, because we're going through so much and we're facing so many obstacles in our life. So that's where our stamina come. If you don't been through some battles together, yes, y'all got some battle scars. Mm -hmm. I, I can show you. Me and my wife got some battle scars. Yes, we don't been through. And I ain't talking about against one another. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about with each other, going through obstacles, right. going through stuff, yes. going through. All kind of different crazy mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. that you wouldn't even believe, but through it all, did we not have no time? We had no food in the refrigerator. Yes, yes. We don't have no time. Bills do. Bills do, and, right. and, and ain't no way we we down to our knees. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. But we had a prayer life. That's right. We had a miracle, and God always provides. Amen. No matter what it looks like, no matter what we face. And sometimes, yo, yeah, sometimes another might get a little worry. Mm -hmm. Might get, well, God gonna do it. Again. And that's why we gotta reassure one another. Yes. See, that's what I'm talking. About. That's when you talking about it's a true marriage. Mm -hmm. Then when you can reassure one, one another, another. who right. God is. That's right. That's right. And sometimes we need that reminder, mm -hmm. honey. God did it this time, that didn't he? Uh, uh, baby, baby, he did it for us this time. That's right. What makes you think he can't? Amen. Amen. So let let us pray together. Mm -hmm. Let us worship together. Yes. And I gave I was I was on the prayer line last night and I gave that Psalm sixty one mm -hmm. where it say you know uh, a nation that that praises God 
will, you know, God will give them the riches. Mm -hmm. He will yield the earth to them. Yes. So doing our praise, doing our prayer, God will start, you know, yielding the earth to you. He'll yes. start giving you the desires Amen. of your heart. He'll start giving you the thing, the tools that you need, yes. the money that you need, the stuff that you need. Mm -hmm. the, somebody might come by and say, hey, uh, pastor, uh, pastor, I, I bought you some food to put in your refrigerator because mm -hmm. I know you ain't have nothing. Yes. You know, and, and I, I just think you just never know. Mm -hmm. How God will turn and, and have the earth yield to you. That's it. In a relationship. Amen. Yield your even your relationship. And and, and where the devil tries to mess it up, where the devil tries to get you guys to go against one another, mm -hmm. if you can just my, my God begin to just praise God yes. in the midst of it. I'm talking about not just the wife, but I'm talking about the husband too. Mm -hmm. Y'all can praise, praise God together. And when you can start worshiping God together, when Thank you can you. open and just start giving God a praise. Mm -hmm. When you can start opening up your mouth and start saying, Lord, I know you on my uh, on our side. Yes. And God, we can give you a shout. Thank God, you, we know you're going to open up doors. Thank you, we know you're going to open up places and yes. highways and byways. Yes. And God, you're going to do things in our life that we ain't never saw done Thank before. You, and God, we know that you're going to open it up like we've never Hallelujah. seen you. The earth itself. Thank you, Jesus. It's going to yield to us. Thank you, God. Like Thank never God. before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See, that's the things I'm talking about. Yes. That you can come together. Because mm -hmm. there's a Shaq and a Kobe in all of y'all as husband and wife. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And God has given you the blueprint on what y'all need to do. So one of us might, you know, you might get to a point you, you know, that one of y'all feel a certain way. Mm hmm but somebody got to be in there, so you know. Uh, let me let, let, let me pull on you. Yes. Let me let's let's get back to that that level we was at before. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes it gets so hard that somebody just tired, mm -hmm. and, and you got to be that encouragement. That's right. And say, honey, come on. Me and you gonna pray. Amen. I know it's tough right now. Mm -hmm. I know it looks hard right now. Mm -hmm. I know we're going through right now. We yes. might only have some spam and some bread in the refrigerator. But we're going to eat our spam and bread. Thank you, Jesus. And we're going to love on one another. Yes. And we know that God is going to pull us through. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I'm just excited tonight. I, I just thank God tonight. I just thank God tonight. And I, I just want to pray for those that are married and, and, and struggling right now. Those that are going through it in the, as husband and wife tonight. Yes. Heavenly Father, we just thank you tonight, God. Thank you, God. And God, we just ask you in this in this time of need, God, that a, that a husband and wife come together, God, yes. and they pray together, God. Thank you, Jesus. God, you said we pray together, we can stay together. Thank you, Jesus. And God, as we stay together as husband and wife, as yes. we push through our our, our, our our time of need, our Thank time of, of, of God, the struggle, and the time of going through a pandemic, a, a time of going through all that we are facing right now, God. Yes. We know, God, that you are on our side. Thank you, Jesus. And God, we just thank you right now for every couple that is that are facing issues and facing yes. problems. God, let them find you, God. Thank you, God. Let somebody, thank God, go to their prayer closet. Mm -hmm. Let somebody grab their husband's hand yes. in the middle of the night or cover him with thank their head Jesus. and say, Lord, let's begin to touch my husband Hallelujah. right now, God. He is he is depressed. Jesus. He's going through thank right now. You. He done lost his job yes, and he don't God. know where our next meal thank gonna you, come Jesus. from. But God, we know you're gonna bring us through. Yes. You're gonna bring us out, God. Thank in the God. mighty name of in Jesus. The name of Jesus. Thank oh God, you. we need you right now. Yes, thank God, you. we need you right now. Thank you, God, we need you right yes, now. God. In the mighty name, the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. God, we need you to break the yokes of bondage over our marriages, over God. God. God, we need yes. you to break the yokes of bondage, yes. God, yes. over that one that we are looking for. Thank God, you. I pray for him right now. Thank I you, pray for her right now. Hallelujah. God, that that, that be the man that you have for me. That that be the Thank woman you, that you have for me, God. Yes. That God, that they are serving you. Thank you God. And Hallelujah. they are praising you. Thank and they are worshiping you for yes. real, God. You, that God, that you can open up the door Thank you, Jesus. Like never before, that we can come together yes. and we can pray together. Thank you, 
and we can worship together, yes. and we can call on the name of Thank Jesus God. together. Hallelujah. Right now, God, in the, name in the mighty name of Jesus, break everything, God, that the devil has tried to do. Yes. God, every time that he throwing rocks Thank in you. our homes, Thank you. around the corners, yes. God, we bind him up in right now. And devil, you have no power in our house. Thank you, you have no power in our neighborhood. Yes. You have no power. Thank My you. God, in the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus blood of over Jesus. you. Thank you, God. Get out of our home. Hallelujah. Thank you right now for every husband and wife. Get out of their home. In the name of Jesus. Get out of their life. In the name of Get out of their mind. In the name of Open up the windows, God. Let them see your glory. Let that husband God dream dreams and see that God, that is nothing but the enemy. Jesus, thank you. That's trying to destroy his marriage. Yes, yes. Let that woman see God. Thank you, Jesus. That what they're fighting against is the enemy they can't see. Yes. Just like the pandemic, God. Mm. But let them know, God, that you are still God. Thank you, Jesus. And what they can't see, God, you see. Yeah. What they can't feel, God, and, and deal with, God, you deal with it, yes, God. God. We know you have the answer Thank to you, their Jesus. problems of marriage. You yes. have the answer to them losing their jobs. Yes. You have the answer to whatever they're facing right now. Yes, God. God, we just ask you to touch them, bless them, Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Let the praise on their lips. Yes. Let them get a praise in their heart. Thank you, Jesus. Let them go before you, God. Yes. Because you're going to bring them through it all. Thank you. Jobs going to come back. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Depression is going to leave. Thank you, God. Struggle is going to leave. Yes. Going through is going to leave. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever the whatever depression of state you're facing yes. is going to leave. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Marital problems are going to leave. Thank you, Jesus. Because, God, we put you in the middle of it. Yes. We give our problems to you. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, glorify their marriage. Thank you. Let Jesus step in, God. Yes. Change their mindset. Thank you, Jesus. And if one is not saved, God, let them learn, God. Let them see, God. Thank you, God. That they need you, Jesus. Yes. They need you, Christ. They need you, our Lord, Thank our you, Savior. Jesus. They need you more than ever. Thank you, Jesus. And God, that their family needs you. Yes. And God, let them, let the wife, let the husband walk around their house. God, giving you the praise. Yes. Thank you, God. Calling out to, and crying out to you. Thank you. Lord. For their families. Thank you, Jesus. For their relationship. Yes. For their marriage. Thank you, God. For their situation. Thank you, Jesus. And everything that they're facing right now. Yes. In Jesus Christ's in name. In Jesus' name. We give you the praise Thank and honor Lord. and glory, God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray tonight. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. amen. And amen. Praise God. Amen. We just thank God for his goodness and his mercy. No sound. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And we just thank God for his anointing and his power for where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. I see Sandy. Uh, Reverend Davis says there's no sound. Um, can anyone else hear us? Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Those that um, need personal counseling, uh, you can reach at 833 True Love, mm -hmm. uh, T R U Love. Amen. You can reach us there. Uh, we realize that, you know, we have a lot of people that log in and listen, um, but that you're suffering and you're going through and you have no one to confide in and no one to talk to. Um, so we do have a personal counseling ministry if you would like us to entrust us uh, with your relationship. Uh, we just thank God for all that the Lord has done and what God is getting ready to do again. Those that need to or have not purchased the book yet, The Love Cure for Relationships and Marriage. I saw Prophetess Carville say that it was a phenomenal book. Thank you so much. Thank you. And please um, give us a review on Amazon. Leave a review uh, for the book on Amazon. And we just bless God because we know that uh, we prayed over what it was God had for us to put it and write in the book. 
um, to edify and uplift the kingdom of God. And we know that there's an attack that's been strategized from the enemy to destroy relationships and marriage so we cannot fulfill the covenant that God has um, ordained for us mm -hmm. as man and woman. So we just bless God. Um, if you need to reach us, you can reach us at Unified Love Ministry at gmail.com. Please share, Close. like this video, um, send it out. It's it's up edification and um we have fun we mm -hmm. laugh I, I saw the comment laughter is good medicine and you know it's good to have humor and relationship humor um and what God is doing for us and they have a number they can call yes one eight three three true love true, true love. love oh okay <laughs> amen I... amen um every first Saturday. Uh, we're on AM 1490 Gospel AM Radio. Join us. AM join us. Ask questions. 2.30 p.m. We are live. So you can tune in through your radio, uh, through their app, or on the website. So we just bless God for all that the Lord has done. Truly, God has edified, and we give him praise. And we will be here next Thursday for part two, two. of Physical uh, Stamina. And uh, we're going to challenge the couples. Good. Yes, we're going to challenge the couples that we know spiritually we got it down. We can pray. We can do that. But physically, we have to get spiritually and physically fit for the kingdom of God. So mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. is the most important time. Now is the best time uh, when um, there's uh, social distancing and um, stay at home orders. We can mentally and physically get our hearts and our minds together to do the work that God has ordained us to do. So we love you. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all your love, love. likes, and comments, all your hearts. We hope, we hope you guys love Unified Love Couples Ministry. Uh, me and my wife, we just thank God that God gave us this yes. to do. We love doing this. We love talking about marriage. Yes. We love talking about getting married. Yes. Doing those things. And I just thank God because, you know, we're, we're able to come on here and just have a platform yes. where you can come and speak to us. And we would, you know, we love your insight. And mm -hmm. when all this pandemic, we're going to put some kind of we're going to put our book signing together. Yes, gonna, we had to postpone Yeah, it. had to postpone that. Oh, but check out our new website. Yeah. You'll find lovecouplesministry.org. Oh, about our website. Yes, we have a new website. Can't about the website. Check it out. Yes. Amen. Thank you all for your yes. love. And read um, the reviews because yes. we got some great reviews. Amen. One of our friends left a review, said they read the book twice. Yes, yes. You we know? had um, one that got engaged yes. after reading the book. After so, reading the book. Um, we just bless God that God. God is using us for such a time as this. And please continue to keep us in there, your prayers as we continue to pray for you all. Yes. Thank you for those Thank that you. are on the line, the conference line. Thank you for joining tonight, Facebook Live. We love you until we meet again in Jesus' name. Jesus God bless name. you. Good bye night. Bye. Good night.